Hello, world. Ugh, you don't know where this is going, do you? You just saw that thumbnail. Well, don't worry. In today's video, I'd like to discuss politics and religion, but it's not my politics or my religion. It's more about why I don't talk about them in my videos and why I probably won't for a very, very long time. I don't want you guys to start a whole political debate in the comments below about one side or the other. I just want to talk about the conversation of politics and religion as a whole and why do we not like to talk about them because they're that big word controversial not a huge big word it's a big word for me though what is something that is controversial of course it's something that has two opposing views to where there can be two human beings that are passionate about their beliefs to the point that they become defensive about it and i do think we have a problem right now and it's not necessarily one side or the other that is messing up when it comes to democrats republicans atheists christians muslims jews whatever you want to say i don't think it's just one is causing all the problems and one isn't. One is the right way. Because I have to admit, I do fall into one of those categories. I'm not going to tell you what it is. The reason I don't feel comfortable explaining to you what I believe or what I think about politics is because I know that the internet is not a safe or effective way to talk about your personal preferences in this subject. You see, I make tech videos and that's probably how you found this channel. And I would just say things like, I don't like the Google Pixel. I think it's a dumb phone. And I would get death threats. Or just this morning, I would make an Instagram post of a watch band my friend bought, and now all of a sudden we have homophobic, anti-gay discussions. So I know that you don't really have to bring up politics directly for a political debate to start in the comments. And believe me, never once have I seen a very intelligent or thought through or respectful debate on YouTube comments. And I think it's because YouTube is kind of a one-way street almost. I preach to you, I lecture to you in the form of a video, and the comments underneath aren't really very good at getting across what people believe because with the internet now every single human being has a voice and a lot of people would say that the internet has made people dumber and I disagree. I think having the internet has given a voice to all people who are not that bright or not that enlightened and we remember that. That stands out to us. I think the most casual, respectful, welcoming people of the world likely don't make comments on YouTube at all. They just watch my videos or whoever's videos they enjoy because believe me we have the numbers, we see the number of views we get and the number of comments we get, they're not the same. There are a lot of people out there whom I respect that simply watch the videos and have likely never left a single comment. It's because they know it won't amount to anything. I got into political, religious arguments with people online in the past, back when I was 12, and it certainly did not get anywhere. You have all these people that start making fun of you. There are some people who have some valid points against your point, but that rarely happens. Usually it just becomes, you're an idiot, you're what's wrong with the world, here's what you are doing and then you start putting words in each other's mouths and at the end of the day no one gets anywhere except everyone just gets angry with each other and you start doubting humanity itself there's a reason I don't comment things like that anymore now what I don't want to get across is that I don't think we should talk about these tough topics I actually really think we do I think humanity needs to talk about politics and religion I think we need to have that intimate discussion in order to find out what we can learn from one another as I said earlier the very definition of something that is controversial is something that means that there are two opposing views that are believable enough for two human beings to get passionate about and defensive about. To me, that means if there's someone who doesn't believe what you believe and they're passionate about it, there's something there that they can relate to and they care about. And at least in face-to-face -face reactions in my life, I try to understand that. I want to talk to them. I want to see their reasoning and I want to see their evidence and their facts. I want to see the logic they have with their passion. And I try to understand it best I can and then I present my opinion which is likely different and why I believe that and try to get them to understand it. That's the big problem though we have right now and it's not just on YouTube it's on all social media and all media. We're living in a world right now where there's so many YouTubers and there's so many news anchors that just say this is obviously the right way and I'm so right that anyone who disagrees with me is clearly an idiot. What I don't like is people acting like the answer is super super simple when clearly there is a massive amount of people who disagree. People do that all the time because they have that mindset of, I don't care what you think because you're wrong. And I feel like you're discounting a whole discussion that needs to happen where when we have two opposing views, we need to discuss why do you believe this? And here's why I believe this. And that discussion doesn't necessarily mean you have to convert the other person to your religion or to your political beliefs. You don't have to convince them you're right. The reason I think having a discussion is important is it helps you understand your opinion better. I've had tons of discussions 
discussions with people with opposing views for me, and I don't think any of them have convinced me of what I already believe, but it has helped me understand their point of view, and it makes me respect them, because at the end of the day, I think we want to be generous and nice to each other, just so that we can still be human beings who care for one another despite our differences. And right now, that isn't happening in the media or online and YouTube comments. We don't have respect for one another. And I think why people could assume that the internet is making everyone stupid is because when you're writing a YouTube comment, you're not looking a human being in the eye. You are responding to text on a display. You know that that person on the other side doesn't matter if they're 70 years old or 12 years old, boy, girl, Republican, Democrat, atheist, Muslim, Christian, Jew, Mormon, whatever they are, you don't have to deal with that awkwardness of an actual discussion, which means on YouTube comments, everybody is unfiltered. It's like on my text stream just a couple days ago, there are tons of people who think it's funny to just write the biggest paragraph saying that Allah is gay or Hitler did nothing wrong, and they just paste it over and over again and spam it in the chat. Do you think if that same person was at a concert or a speech that they would be okay with shouting that into the crowd? Maybe, but I kind of doubt it. I kind of think it's an eight-year-old who's looking for a reaction. And you guys all know the word for them. It's the troll. They're literally just trying to troll you because they know this upsets you, they know it's offensive, and they're trying to push your buttons. Because again, there's no retaliation. We can't do anything to stop them. They're gonna keep doing it. There's simply no consequences for them. So why can't they do that? So we try our best to block them out and make sure they don't get a reaction out of it, but sometimes it's kind of difficult to do that. It's those types of people I really wish I could have a sit-down talk with, with eye-to-eye -eye contact, and ask, why do you do this? Why do you enjoy upsetting people's days? But regardless of just trolls, when it comes to people who are just very passionate about what they believe, which is controversial, whether it be politics or religion, it's important to recognize that we don't want a group of people in society that just are instantly converted to the first opposing view of their opinion. You know, if you were a flat earther and you were frustrated that people thought we've been to the moon and that the world is a sphere, and you walked up to them and said, hey, you're wrong, look at this evidence, and you instantly went, oh, that's right, huh, I was stupid for believing that, okay, you're right now, and the debate was over that quick? Yes, you were correct, but you were very clearly not passionate about what you already believe, so converting to someone else's opinions and beliefs so quickly isn't what we want you to do, because if someone else came up to them and said, no, what the last person told you was a lie, the earth actually is flat, and then you went, oh, okay, I understand, you wouldn't be passionate or caring about anything. So when there's someone who disagrees with you, when there's someone who has different points of view, understand that it's okay that they're not converted or convinced instantly, because it would be very bizarre and not good if they did. Convincing someone that's very passionate about their beliefs that there's an alternative or that they're wrong about their beliefs, that should be a very complicated and intricate process, and it needs to be of their own design. They need to understand your point for themselves. It can't be necessarily always just you spewing information at them rapid fire, and since it makes sense to you, therefore, they need to understand it immediately. We all have different backgrounds. We all have different influences. Our parents, our teachers, all of our motivational heroes throughout our lives influence the way we see the world, which means a certain piece of evidence could be different to different types of people. So now that I am officially a YouTuber, I'm not that big, I'm not that popular, but I am doing this full time. I want people to know that I think people have the right to be wrong. I don't believe in censorship. You know, I go in the spam folder of my tech channel all the time and approve everything I see, even the stuff that's legitimately spam, because I think it's wrong to say this person is clearly incorrect, so we're gonna take away their right of free speech. For one thing, there's the trolls who are just trying to get a reaction and are trying to say the most offensive thing possible and spamming it. That's one thing, but another topic is just when someone says something that you disagree with, instead of just blocking them and say that they shouldn't have the right to speak, let them stay, and if at all possible, have an intimate conversation with them. Try to understand their reasoning even if you know it's wrong and you know there's no amount of explanations they can do to convince you that they're right try to understand their point of view a little bit and if you truly are right you can list all your reasons for why you are and of course there's no promise that they're going to understand you but we need to have debates we need to have discussions and it's not gonna happen if we just block each other out or censor each other for being supposedly wrong even when we know it I'm saying that as there are seven billion people plus on the world we need to be okay with the idea that there are a few stupid people out there. Yes, no matter what demographic you come from, there is going to be a lot of people out there that you just go, what are you talking about? How can you believe that? Those types of people are always going to exist and rule of average 
message says as you age and as you get older you're probably going to think more people are dumb given the elderly today think we're pretty crazy i'm sure when i'm old i'm gonna look at the world and think it's a mess and everyone's insane but i still think we can respect and care for one another if we try to understand each other's point of view which is very difficult to do and i don't think by watching this video it's gonna fix the world i'm not trying to do that here just trying to fill time it's thursday i'm just saying there may be a little bit more to politics and religion than just a couple of videos and memes you see on facebook oh this proves them wrong sometimes people think that if you have the correct amount of one-liners and that's why i use facebook as an example is because of the memes and the videos they're basically one-line answers to big debatable questions and they think oh because i found this it proves that i'm right there's so much more to controversial topics than just a couple memes and one-liners to bring all this back to where it started the definition of something controversial is something that two people have opposing views on that are passionate about it to get defensive which simply means that there's enough evidence for both sides to formulate an opinion of their own so as you're going about social media and as you're watching the news and as you're interacting with human beings for real not just on the internet keep in mind that we were all raised differently we all came from different walks of life and we all have different opposing views but that doesn't mean we can't understand and respect each other better so a lot of you guys have been watching me for a long time and I think I don't really have to tell you my religion or political views because you know me pretty well and you probably know what side I would fall on. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching this one guys and I hope you have a nice one. Take care.